So we made these plates that fit on the side of the motor and I'm gonna build off of these down to the uh, brackets on top of the uh, subframe that we've done our nolothane mounts into. So we just basically got some steel plate, cut it to size, cut a notch out, and um, made the holes to fit, as you saw, using transfer punches. And um, now I'm just gonna snug them up onto the motor, and then we can build our engine mounts from there. So I've gone ahead and made this. I basically got a sliding bevel and put it up on the tilt of the engine and then uh, vertical down and got this angle and this angle out of it and measured across to the intersection of the bolt and then down to the bolt position. So now we can get this here and put it here and we've got the beginnings of our engine mount. So now as the test, we can get the mount and flip it over to the back side and put it through here. Hopefully it will fit that side. Perfect. Symmetrical nursing thing. Did a win. Okay. So I've got the um, most of the mount done for the passenger side. The welds came out okay. Uh, I'm fairly happy with them. Um, but I've just got the uh, the hole marked there and I'm just gonna mark the hole and then we'll bolt, them, bolt this side to the engine and continue on with the other side. Uh, we've uh, gone straight down like here and we just had this scrap bit of bar here so I just added a gusset uh, to make it strong. Uh, we could probably only really do with this side of the mount. We only don't even really need a saddle on this, but we'll put it on there because, um, yeah, that's what the book says. You know, the um, one you zen into MX-5 installation book. That's what. Everything yeah. by the book, mate. Yeah, by the book. Cool. 
So you're still planning to run gearbox mounts across from these frame rail braces, hey? Yeah, I mean, it'd be real easy for us to go uh, across the car. I mean, <laughs> just like there and just put plates on the other side and you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not against that idea. Yeah, and we keep it above these as well. Yeah. And all we would have to do is put big plates there and tack them on the inside of the car. Um, I mean, that's the easiest way around it. Yep. And Honestly, by far, that's going to get the job done. <laughs> We're just... Uh, that's a 40 40. I mean, yeah. Now, if we put the plates on in here, it's very fucking thin, isn't it? Yeah. From the bottom of this, we want to go here, here, You want to half off it. Amazing to me. So I marked and drilled these. These are the mount for the gearbox. Uh, I cut it down to fit the profile of the chassis. We put these plates across. Then we put the uh, engine mount. No, the gearbox mount. So we put the gearbox mount up into the car. Insert video of me putting the gearbox mount up into the car. <laughs> and then we made some plates. So these plates go on the inside of the car. And what I'm going to do is just get uh, M10. Those are also metric bolts. M10 by 1.25 millimeters. And then put those in there. And I'm going to weld them so they're captive, so we can just drop those through the chassis from the inside. I'm going to put a bit of uh, Celastic uh, in there to hold them, retain them. And um, then we should end up with studs coming out the bottom of the car. Um, I've purposely made these holes bigger for location purposes, uh, so I'll make it easier to put the gearbox cross member on. Um, it might look janky and uh, a bit secondhand because um, this was a concreter's tool before. Uh, we literally dug it out of the bin. It works, it works. Yeah. 
That's right, because you measured it properly. Yeah. In metric. In metric. Would you look at that? That's a fucking Nissan 300Z gearbox and pooey old Sora motor in a Miata MX-5. Joking. There you go, that's in there. Oh, get out! <laughs> and yeah, that's back equipment. Oh, get out! Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Okay, so now we got the engine mounts. Most mostly done. It's onto wiring. And um, let's see what our um, Mazda Hero is up to. What's what's happening here, Aaron? Uh, so at the moment, we're just thinning out the standard wiring harness from the UZ. 90% of it we don't actually need for what we're doing. Caltech's going to control sequential ignition and injection so we can piss off most of the wiring out to the dizzies and igniters and coils and all the other rubbish that used to live there. Um, so yeah, I'm just going through, snipping things off and throwing it in the bin. Yeah, right. So how much of this harness are we going to be deleting? Like percentage wise of the original harness? I've probably filled more than Let's just say half of it out um, already because there was a lot of stuff with the automatic gearbox that this motor would have come with. Um, as you can see, there's still a lot of copper sitting here, but realistically, we're probably going to thin it out another third, maybe even half, uh, and then start relaying just new cable for the uh, yeah, igniting circuit. The injectors definitely need to be sort of looked at because there's a few rodent chew lines in here. Um, so you'll probably take out half of it and then relay a quarter worth. Be substantially less than what we started with. All right, sounds like a plan. We'll get to it and we'll see everyone on the next episode of the uh, MX400.